Yes, hello. Today here we'll be showing how to use Quatris 9.1 and the D2 board to construct a traffic light. Here we see we're using two block symbols, the VGA control and the make image block symbol. First we're going to go with the make image block symbol and show the VHDL file. Here we see that we wrote up the the code for the VHDL file to create signals to control the state of lights. Here we have the South Street, North Street, West Street, and East Street. We also show so here we see that we have the ones and zeros uh, this first one is just showing the constant edge number. This second is showing when the display is filled red, as well as this third one is showing when the display is filled yellow, green, and so on. Uh, we'll scroll down to our next code where we begin the process of showing the column of each light. If we go back to our block diagram, we see our VGA control, and we open up our VGA control VHDL. Our VGA, VGA control is just basically calling the image chip, which we have right here. It's calling the image chip and displaying the, the clock and the display, which is declaring everything through the make image. After explaining the diagram, for the, this project, we then compiled it and assigned the pins to the D2 board, which led us to this VGA. So as you can see, the east and west streets are both set to green right now. So if I wanted to make the north and south streets green, I would flick on the sensor and switch on switch 15 and 17. And after time, these lights would turn yellow. and then these will turn green, as you can see. And then it will run back through the cycle, and then these lights will turn green again. As you can see. Now to put on the left turning signals, I would just have to make the program know that there's a car in the left turning lane. So I'll just turn on the sensor and turn on both the two turning lane switches. As you can see, these just went left. And then it will run back through the cycle until these lights turn green again. To make these two lights turn green, I would then do the same thing, turn on the sensor, but I would turn on the other two switches for the switch one, I mean switch zero and switch one to turn these lights left. As you can see, they turn left. And that's basically how the program is ran. So.